Hello and welcome back, G-Man in the Studio Lab. This is the second video in a series of user reviews. I am focusing on the DIY Eurorack modules by the Maker Feedback. In other videos, I have covered their static and squeeze modules. Today I am looking at the DIY CP3-. I will be giving some quick thoughts about the build, but focus more on demoing some sounds. So, what do we have here? CP3- is a simple 4 input and 2 output audio mixer circuit derived from the Moog modular. CP3- is the same thing as the feedback CP3+, except the minus does not have the multiple utility and is less HP. What makes the CP3 type mixer circuit special is a wonderful audio quality when it is driven into saturation. The CP3 type mixer uses all discrete components. There are no IC chips inside. First a quick word about throwing this dude together. It has much less components as the squeeze compressor, but there are still a couple of tiny match transistor packages to contend with. You can refer to my user review of the squeeze compressor. From there you can ascertain the build difficulty. After you check that out, come right back and hear some audio demos. The following audio demos will have the same format. I am running both the dry signal and the CP3 signal into a sequential switch. This way you can hear each one at a time. When the LED shows you channel 1, that is the dry signal. When the LED shows channel 2, that is the signal coming through the CP3-. I am triggering the sequential switch off camera using my Keystep Pro. Also note, I will not be using any filters as they can color the sound. I'm just using my dual VCA during the baseline and arpeggio examples. Let's begin.
reading or hearing about people looking for a way to warm up their sound, filters and tape emulators are usually what comes to mind, but the CP3- minus is an easy way to add saturation clipping to the more robust oscillator signals in your arsenal. I'm talking about signals bigger than 12 volt peak to peak. Signals below that threshold don't seem to benefit from the saturation clipping this mixer has to offer. The CP3- minus is only 6 HP, so whoever has enough mixers, I sure don't. The saturation characteristics are more apparent with simple, non-square oscillator waveforms. Sawtooth, sine, triangle, Things like that. So to emphasize, weaker signals don't seem to benefit from the clipping this mixer offers. Neither do the more complex sounds like percussion, noise, digital wavetables. But if you're looking for an affordable, colorful DIY mixer, the CP3- is pretty handy to have around. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.